Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use a polyumod material model within ANSYS Mechanical and Workbench together with LSDyna. So if you run LSDyna using Workbench and you want to use a polyumod material model, there are a few things you need to set up and I'm going to show you today how you can do that in a very easy way. So my example here is a very simple uh, part that I want to deform. I'm going to show you how we can set this up to use a polyumod material model. The first thing to do is to select and use the material model. So I'm going to start M calibration. And here's an M calibration window that has a polyumod 3 network model. You can use any material model that you're interested in here as part of the polyumod library. I just picked the default parameters here. I can run this once and I get this prediction. The next thing to do here is to export this material model into LSDyna format. So click on export and I'm going to select LSDyna. It's going to save this file to uh, my computer and I'm going to save it right here with the default name. And uh, I want to look at the file to see what we created. So here's the file we just created. See that has this mats, uh, star mat user defined material models, and uh, here are the parameters for this material model. We're going to select this now and put it in the clipboard so we have it for later. Then I'm going to go back into Workbench. So I have a Workbench model that I'm going to use for this demonstration. I, I have set it up to use LSDyna as the solver, and uh, I read in the geometry from another project that I had. I'm going to then switch over to a mechanical. And here's mechanical for this uh, problem. Here's the particular little device that I want to deform. And um, the first thing to do is just tell uh, mechanical that this is the polyumon material model. And one way to do that is to click on the solid you want to assign a material to. And then you just right click on it and insert commands. And I already did that here. So I get a command snippet, and then I paste in the polyumod material model commands that we just ex exported from M calibration. So I put them in here, just exactly that was exported. I don't need to do any editing of this. I just paste it right in here. This will now be assigned to this part when LSDyna is running. And then I set up the LSDyna simulation the way I typically do. Most of the settings of interest is avail are available under analysis settings here. In this case, I'm simulating 0.1 seconds. Um, you can specify mass scaling if you like. You can also specify if you want to use uh, single or double precision. Uh, I'm just using program controlled here. But some of these settings are, of course, important for you. Before you actually run this, there is one more step you need to do. And this is very important. This is a one-time step. So if you go to your computer and you find a look directory in which you have ANSYS installed, you will find a, here's the path for ANSYS version 23.1. You see that there are executables for LSDyna available here. There's a double precision and a single precision executable. These are the executables that ANSYS will use when it launches LSDyna for you as part of the simulation. But these come with answers, and they don't have polyumod as part of them. So the, what you need to do is to take the executable from your polyumod install directory. Typically, that's here, C program files, Polymer FEM, polyumod, polyumod, and it's Dyna. And there are two executables here. We're going to copy these into this directory. I like to just to be, to be safe. I take the original file that was available that came with answers. I just rename it to end with or original or backup or whatever you like. So we still have them in case we want to go back to it. And then I just paste in the polyumod version of these executables right here. This is a one-time setup for each version of LSDyna that you're working with. Once you've done this, you can then continue as usual. When ANSYS Mechanical launches LSDyna, they will use the polyumod enhanced version of LSDyna. So back here, I can just run the simulation as you typically do, and then you can look at the results. 
There is one other thing that I want to highlight, and that is when you look at the results, you will see if you look at the, sol uh, the solver output here, scroll down, there are some commands that indicates it's good to check for that this indeed is using the polyumod library that's uh, shown here. That's additional printouts that is always available if a polyumod material model is used. And then it just runs as usual, and you can look at the results as you always do. So those are the key steps of enabling um, ANSYS mechanical to use the polyumod version of LSDyna in your simulation. If you have any questions on this, you can ask them below.